Hello everyone, welcome to a new lecture. In this video we are going to talk about depositional landforms. Streams continually pick up sediments in one part of the channel and deposit it at another part or downstream. Due to this deposition, streams create different features that are called depositional landforms. So what are depositional landforms? Well, depositional landforms are channel and stream deposits that are formed due to decrease in velocity of a flow. A stream flow carries suspended materials and sediments, and when it encounters a factor that leads to the decrease of the flow's velocity, deposition occurs in different forms, and they are, as I mentioned, called depositional landforms. There are three depositional landforms. We have deltas, we have alluvial fans, and we have natural levees. So let's explore each in more detail. The first one, deltas, form when a river or a stream meets a still water a lake, an inland sea, or an ocean. Suspended load slows down and gets deposited. As you can see in the picture right here, we have a stream system that delivers water from the uptops to the still ocean. We have a stream system that delivers water from the uptops from this region to the ocean right here. This stream system carries suspended sediments and when the stream down here meets the ocean, then it deposits immediately and creates delta. And these loose materials right here, these loose brown materials right here, are deltaic materials. The deposited material create three types of beds, and they are four-set beds, top-set beds, and bottom-set beds. Four-set beds are composed of coarse particles that drop almost immediately when they enter the water, and they form layers that slope down current from the delta front. The four set beds are usually covered by thin horizontal top set beds deposited during flood stage and the finer silts and clays settle away from the mouth in nearly horizontal layers called bottom set beds. This is about the deposited material, but how about the way they are deposited? Well, as the delta grows, and as you can see in the picture, we have a very large delta, a big delta. So, as the delta grows downstream, the gradient decreases and eventually becomes choked with sediments. As a consequence, the river does no longer have a downstream path, therefore seeks a shorter path with higher gradient. It will take another path and starts to deposit its materials. So, gradually, this path, so imagine the water comes down here and it will deposit right here here as a delta gradually this part will no longer support any sediments because the gradient will slowly decrease and decrease and will become a flat land therefore the river will no longer have the shortest path to reach the ocean therefore it will change its course and it will come to another side to find another path but after a while that path will also be choked up too eventually you will get a structure just like this that is delta all over which is due to the change of the path of the stream due to decrease of gradient right here and this is an ongoing process so deltas are extremely important ancient deltas are a benefit to the economy due to their well-sorted sand and gravel. An example would be the Nile River Delta in northern Egypt. It's one of the world's largest river delta and it is believed that the Nile Delta was the reason behind the great ancient Egyptian civilization. So due to the materials that are deposited in deltas, deltas are extremely important for farming and in the ancient worlds it was extremely important for civilization. You should keep in mind that not all streams and rivers have deltas. The Columbia River in the Pacific Northwest does not have a delta and the reason is because the ocean waves quickly redistribute the material soon after they are deposited. So a delta is a depositional landform and it is formed when a stream meets a still water, like a lake or an ocean. But what happens when a stream meets a land instead of water? Well, in that case, we get something that is called alluvial fans. Alluvial fans are fan-shaped deposits formed as a result of a stream entering a flat valley. Just like you see in this picture, we have mountains, we have high areas in this picture. When a stream coming down of this high land in this mountain to a valley, then the stream will get deposit immediately and it creates alluvial fans. Alluvial fans, as I mentioned, are fan-shaped deposits formed as a result of a stream entering a flat valley. 
When the flow grows down and meets the flat valley, there is a sudden decrease in the flow velocity and all the suspended material gets deposited since there is no longer energy to keep the sediments rolling in suspension. So they are deposited as alluvial fans. The fan shape is produced because the main flow swings back and forth between the distributors which are these small lines or these small channels and from a fixed point which is right here. So as the water swings between here and these channels these small stream channels a fan shape is produced and we get alluvial fans the last type of depositional landforms is natural levees natural levees are built by years of successive floods and they are formed as a result of flood deposits on the banks of a channel most of the time they are found in meandering rivers so let me show you how exactly natural levees are made. So imagine this is a cross-sectional area of a river and water flows through this channel. You see there are suspended material moving in the channel. When you have a flood, there is a sudden increase in the water and the suspended material will go up and they will come to the sides. When the flood goes away, you see the suspended material will be deposited on the sides of the channel and they will create natural levees. When you have a lot of floods and then decrease of the water, floods and then decrease of the water, this successive flooding and decrease of the water in the channel creates natural levees. And with this, we come to the end of our lecture. So to recap,